Okay, so now we're going to do the data pipeline. So if you go into um, AWS Management Console, which is just from the front page of AWS, we're going to make the data pipeline that is going to connect between MySQL, which is RDS, and going to pull data out from there and then dump it into AWS S3. So that's going to be here, inside here. If you didn't have that in your shortcuts, then it's going to be in one of these services here. Um, where will it be? You can always... It's over here, obviously, because that's recently visited. But then also it's in, you can always like do a search here, data pipeline, then you'll get it there. So you can get to it there, but I'm just going to click to it here. If you click to it there, you'll get to another page and that page is going to look like this. This is going to be all your pipelines. These are the ones that I've made earlier, but this is, we're going to create a brand new one here from this page. So I'm going to give it the name initial load table one. Okay. And then from here, choose RDS MySQL table to S3 full copy. So use that template and it's got the password there already. If you've put it in once before, then this is the folder that I want it to land in. So remember, this is just doing the initial load first. So I'm going to go into Hon Bucket 2, and then Table 1, and then Initial Load. So that's the directory where I want it to land. So I'll select that. Then here we have a MySQL username that was admin. Oops, ADMIN. And the MySQL table, it's called table one. And the security group, this optional, we don't need it. RDS ID. The RDS ID, RDS instance ID is this one here. So if we went back to um, as Amazon RDS and we went to databases, and we looked at the DB identifier. So it's this thing here. We put this in. Plop it in there. And then down here in these places, we just want it to, this one we want to run just once because it's just the initial load. And then there's this one and this one and this thing here. We don't we just disable this logging in here so we don't get any output for that. And then da -da 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 -da, uh, that's okay, that's okay, and then that's fine. So now we just click edit and architect. Edit and architect, and you see it's done this kind of thing for us. And now there's a few things here. What we have to do is on the data node. Just expand that. So this is where we put the query in. I'll just try to expand this a little bit. Oh no, not this. Yeah, it is actually. That's the query. This is the query area. Select all from some kind of table. So our query here, and this is going to be in the notes as well, which is just under this video. So you need this query here. So look at this query, it's that select of that table, but it's just going to be for the first five. So it's just the ones that are on the 25th of April. So I'm going to copy this code. Oops. Just um, paste it in. I'll control C. And I will just cover all of this and paste that in there. So that is that part. There's another thing to do here, which is to look at the output here. It says directory path. So we want to delete that. We don't want a directory path. What we want is another thing. So we just choose from here, file path. 
and when we do file path we want to we want to come into this folder this file I mean and then copy this thing here so this will direct it to I'll keep doing that let's do that again with a control C and that will say drop it into a location which is going to be that location that we created just now we browsed to in the, pre in the previous screen and then it will have this table, table 1 the name of the CSV that you want to output it as then we go into... what other things are there? nothing in the preconditions and then inside other there's a place here where you have to put in the database name so it's just something that has seems to be missing that's a bit strange it should really have picked it up but anyway the database name is if you remember is not this it's the database inside the thing here so what it is is this here this one here this database business that's the name that we created so the database inside the instance so that is just called business business there and then what we have here is the RDS so this is where everything's come out database one and table instance so that's fine it all looks good to me and now that means I just save it and when you save it it asks you to activate it and then so it just runs straight away all right and then the way to sort of check everything is you have to come to this drop down here and make it become all and so it's going to create these things so at the moment if we refresh our um, S3 bucket folder so we're inside here and then we're inside initial load then inside here there's nothing so still nothing and what we'll do is we will just um, refresh this a little while it actually takes quite a long time so I'm going to pause this video for a little while pause the recording and then come back when this kind of stuff has um, just sorted itself out has become green a little bit okay so something has changed a little bit so that's become running when I just refreshed it just now so I'm going to refresh it again and it's finished this thing here is shutting down still shutting down but let's see in the meantime what has happened to the S3 bucket folder so refresh this and we see that the file has appeared so now let's download this and have a look at what's inside show in folder the table let's have a look using notepad and we see that that's exactly what we want really it's the first five rows of the table and so we would in our simulation this is what we are simulating we are um, simulating a, a a full load an initial load so um, in reality this will have um, sort of maybe thousands of, or millions of rows or tens of thousands of rows or millions of rows so this will be your first bulk import and that looks actually all correct looks right looks wonderful so I am going to just come back here now let me just delete that from the download area and 
then also just to tidy that up a bit so now this is fine this is still there that's the one on the um, s3 bucket I come back here and I just refresh this I see everything has finished so that's wonderful so it's all worked out and yeah so that's the first part of this actually what have we done we've done the initial load from MySQL to through to AWS um, data pipeline and then dumped it out to AWS S3 so that's just the initial load though then after what we're going to do is sort out stuff with um, Amazon Redshift have a look at that and then when we've got that database up and running we'll try and we'll do uh, all this stuff here to do the incremental load that is going to change a little bit that query we're going to well we're going to create the same thing again but we're going to call it instead of initial load incremental load and we're going to get the rest of the data that is from the 26th of April and then that's going to come in here in the other folder as you can see you can as you can probably start to imagine the incremental folder that is in AWS S, AWS S3 and then that's going to be yeah when that lands actually getting a bit of ahead of ourselves here but just to, so that you can know what's going to happen is that when that lands or when the lambda function that we create here detects a change in this so a new file a new update on this file will be dropped into this bucket then it sort of um, fires off this AWS glue component and this AWS glue component pulls up the data in, of that file into AWS Redshift uh, so yeah that's the process that's where we are at it and that's what um, we're going to do next this part here okay so that's wonderful and i will see you in the next one